you know, I'll give them plenty of space as a nice person, and then they just sit, a minute goes by and they don't move. And it just forever, the reverse light is still on. And then after you've been sitting there forever, they, they park. That happened to us one time, but this crazy asshole was wasted when it happened. So the moment the car went from reverse back to park, he jumped out of the car, ran next to the car, and screamed, WHY AREN'T YOU LEAVING?! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Ryan Patel. Yeah! Woo! I was quite mean-spirited. <laughs> if, uh, if anything should be learned from my life, it's that alcohol preserves a lot of things, but not your dignity. <laughs> and you know what? I'm, I'm pretty at peace with that. It's okay. You know, Chip thinks he's not gay. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> but I can swear to God, when he's blowing me, <laughs> that shine off the top of his head. I can actually comb my beard by it. Herman makes a big deal out of my beard. It's just because my ex-girlfriend never shaved her pussy. She left me, I missed her, I grew the beard out. That's just what I do. And Herman's not here to hear this, but Sean Khan is a god where I come from. No other Indo-European will ever be the owner of a minor league football team, ever. <laughs> Jaguars are to deal with it. And uh, I heard something today, and I saw something today, which brought to mind something to me, because, you know, Mexico outsources its, its labor to India, and I grew up in a little village in India. The little village just made condoms. That's all we did. We made condoms. Our mode of transport for the condoms were donkeys. It was just all guys making condoms all the time. But the thing is, there was a donkey shortage. There was a shortage of of donkeys in this village. And one day, after a couple months, we have these humongous pile of condoms built up, and finally a donkey came through. And I literally saw more men stare at an ass when Jessica Mears walked off <laughs> than when that ass showed through my village in the donkey. That didn't happen. I just that <laughs> Jessica, I was looking at your ass. It was great. Well done. <laughs> I don't have any dignity, I don't care, I'm wasted. So, <laughs> I came back from St. Augustine, yeah, and then I did go to Nashville, and I bombed all, all over the place over there too. And the thing is, I was over in Nashville, and I was on a bicycle, because I rented one out, there's an app for that now, you can rent cars, you can rent, you can rent bikes. And I was biking, and it was right outside the strip club, because I just left the strip club, because that's what you do when you're on a bike in a city that you don't belong in. You go to the strip, you just go to the closest strip club. I swear to God, like a strip club radar. I'll end up there. Chip's been there. I, he was stripping for me. <laughs> and this homeless guy comes up to me. He's like, "Hey man, that's a nice looking bike. You're probably gonna run a flat. I got a tire. I got a tire for that bike." I'm like, "All right, man. I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll play this game, hobo." <laughs> Let me see the tire. And he showed it to me. It's like this tire taken from like this five-year-old girl's bike. He's like, I'll sell you this for 20 bucks. I was like, look at that tire, man. There's no way. There's no way in hell that tire's gonna fit on this bike. He's like, all right, I'll sell it to you for five bucks. I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, what does this guy expect for me to do? I'm gonna buy this tire off of him for five dollars and then bike up? Look at this face. If I go into a neighborhood which where little girls are free to ride their bicycles. Not gonna happen. This space is only built for airport security people, okay? I can't get away with riding that. I, was like, I don't think there's a market for that. I think that what I realized that I've traveled a lot now is that every city has its own flavor of homeless. The other day I chain smoke because I love cancer. I like have eight different forms of it. This is how I roll. And I was biking around Riverside and I stopped because the craving hit me. Look, I gotta smoke a cigarette. This guy comes out of nowhere, and he's got a, like another shorter guy next to him. This guy's like, hey man, my name's Hobo Bob. I was like, that's a great introduction. Hobo Bob. Well, well nice, to, nice to meet you, Hobo Bob. <laughs> I'm Ryan Patel, which Herman has told you is not really my name. That's kind of what I go for. He's like, hey man, I really need a cigarette. I'm like, 
yeah, so do I, that's why I stopped. He's like, man, I'll tell you a joke for a cigarette. And I'm like, really? I could always use some new material. I never have any. I just come up here and ramble and I'll waste it. He's like, hey. Knock, knock. The shorter guy goes next to him, Hobo Bob, you can't tell no knock, knock jokes, man. You ain't got no door. <laughs> I was like, well played, Hobo Bob's good friend. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of sympathize a lot with the homeless. I grew up poor. Our version of the wedding crashes is that we would show up after American weddings to pick up the rice. And you know what we had to fight to pick up the rice? Pigeons. And you are pretty awesome. You know, Herman was on his <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not even funny right now. That's all. Like, building off of your energy. I'm just going to get progressively worse and worse, and you're going to keep laughing, aren't you? Yes, I am. I love you. Yes. I, I just want to get lost and even go to you right now. This <laughs> is awkward. All right, let's see what else I got. All right, so my relationships have been kind of hard for me, seeing as I'm an alcoholic, and also because I'm poor, and I don't really have a big dick. I don't want to make a big deal out of it, but it's a small deal. That's how I roll, it's like a chia pet. You know what I'm saying? So I actually have to get like confirmation that it's in. I don't know. What's? Point your anger. You're, oh, okay. Can I do that too? Hey, Rager, I love you. Hey. How's it going? I'm real good again. I was talking about nailing the stripper this one time. Oh, really? Yeah. And you know what's the good thing about dating a stripper? You find one dollar bills everywhere. Everywhere. Should I say it again? Everywhere. The stripper didn't work out for me. I started dating a banker. And that was kind of like a karmic thing. I figured that bankers have screwed over Americans for the past 200 years anyway. I was at least due for a pity fuck. No, she left me. It was insufficient funds. I couldn't afford her. <laughs> I went out with a girl who was really into fetishes. Uh, she was like, hey man, I just want to dress up. I want to dress up for you. Then I, want to, I want to dress down. And then what I would like to do is that I would like to bend over and then I would like for you to kiss my butt. Just, I just want you to kiss my butthole. I was like, alright, man, I got some fetishes too. Fine. Let's just do it. So we go to her house. It's like your first floor, like, studio apartment. We go there, she dresses down. She dresses up like a really sexy nurse outfit. She gets down, and I was like, oh my god, I haven't gotten laid in, like, forever. And she dresses down, she's like, alright, man, I'm ready. I want you to kiss my butt right now. I'm like, alright, go wait for me in the bathroom. Because when I kiss butts, I do it in the bathroom. So she goes in the bathroom, and I just leave her there. Oh, you think that's funny? Wait, what happens next? I just leave her there. It was like 20 minutes. I watched like an episode of Frasier. <laughs> it was great. Kelsey Grammer. And you know what I did to Kelsey Grammer? Because she came back out of the bathroom. She's like, where were you? You were supposed to kiss my butt like 15 minutes ago. I'm like, no, I just jerked off in your handbag. That was my fetish. <laughs> and I jerked off in your handbag watching Kelsey Grammer because whenever I watch The Simpsons, I get a bummer. Disgusting. Why would I say that? Have you guys ever been so drunk that you try to rob a place? Because <laughs> I was. It wasn't this place, it was like Dollar Road. Probably one of your competitors, but I tried to rob that shit. And I was so drunk that a cop came in and he could smell my fumes off me, he could like smell my sweat. And it's a smart cop. He's Jacksonville cops. So I mess around with a lot of cops, alright? Look at this face. Airport security. I mess around with a lot of cops, he just smells it off of me, he goes, Marco, and you know, I'm just wasted, I'm like, polo, polo, and he heard me, and that's the end of that story, alright, next. <laughs> now, being drunk has cost me a lot of jobs, like uh, at a bookstore, I used to work at a bookstore, there's no light on, is there? Okay, cool. I used to work at a bookstore, and 80% of working at a bookstore is just knowing where the bathroom is. And I was so wasted one night that I just went in there and I forgot where the bathroom was. You know where it's not? It's not in the kids' department. It's not in self-improvement. Nor is it in biographies. The bathroom is in none of those places. It's usually tucked away in the back corner. I was talking to my doctor the other day. Gave him my symptoms. He goes, hey, I think you might have an alcohol problem. I was like, no, I don't really think that you should talk to me that way, Dad. <laughs> 
I think I call it an alcohol solution. He's like, you know, as a Hindu, you're not really supposed to drink like that. When's the last time he drank? I was like, right before I got here. And he just had this look on his face. I'm like, well, look at it this way, because I'm an optimist. It's like, well, then I'm a born-again Hindu, right? And so then that brought to mind, because only in the drunk's brain can you actually go off on a tangent like that. Meanwhile, he's staring at me, figuring out what demented, retarded piece of shit sperm <laughs> went into my mom's XL and just totally made me. And then I just totally go up my hands and I was like, Dad, I got it. I got it. I'm going to be the next Gandhi. I'm going to be a Hindu evangelist. I'm just going to walk up to people. How you doing today, sir? Are you doing all right? You've been drinking? You're not a Hindu, but you are born again. You are born again. Any one of you fine gentlemen, do you have a burger today? Do you have a burger? Burgers are delicious. But you are a heathen. You are a born again Hindu. You're born again. We are going to kind of eat. That's what we do. No, that's that bit. All right, so I got to work on that. Growing up in America is also been tough for me. How am I on time? Am I just going to keep going here until I just oh, get totally... Shit, Nazworth sat on the porch. Yeah, yeah. whenever Nazworth gives me the mic, he just gives up. So you got a minute? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll leave up one minute then. Thanks. <laughs> they, they always keep asking. <laughs> Whenever I go up, like they're like, we need eight good minutes out of you. I'm like, oh, I'm going to tell you the same thing that I told my ex. You're going to ask me for eight good, but you're only going to get 30 seconds of it. But when I was growing up, and I moved to this country, the, we only had one cable television in India. I have only one cable channel in America. In, oh, Jesus. <laughs> only one cable channel in India, and... The one channel only played Christopher Walken movies, so I went into first grade. They're like, can you give me the letters of the alphabet? And I was like, all right, fine. I'm going to do this because you're my teacher. A is for alpha. B, that's boom. C, C is for cowbell. Yeah, I need more of it. Teacher looks at me. It's like, I. She's like, what's I for? Even though it's like out of this place and stuff, but I only got like 15 seconds anyway, but I'm just gonna keep talking really fast and really under my breath. Gonna... <laughs> I, I is for, I will never let a Christopher Walken accent go, ever. <laughs> That's it, I wanna keep doing it. It's hackneyed, but I wanna do Christopher Walken every single day. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Ryan Patel, everybody. Give it up again for Ryan Patel.